Welcome back to our channel, Zaxdeck. Today, we have an exciting tutorial for all you Linux enthusiasts out there. We'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to install Arch Linux in VirtualBox. Arch Linux is a lightweight and highly customizable Linux distribution, perfect for those who want complete control over their system. So, let's dive right in. The first thing we need to do is download the Arch Linux ISO file. Open up your web browser and navigate to the Arch Linux official website. From there, click on the download section and select the download method you want. It's recommended to use the torrent method. You can use a torrent client like QTorrent for faster download speeds. Before we get started, make sure you have VirtualBox installed on your computer. If you don't, you can download it from the official VirtualBox website and install it. The installation process is straightforward. Once you have VirtualBox up and running, let's move on to the next step. Now that we have the Arch Linux ISO file, let's create a new virtual machine in VirtualBox. Open VirtualBox and click on the new button. Give your virtual machine a name, such as Arch Linux, and select Linux as the type and Arch Linux 64-bit as the version though this will be automatically detected in the new virtual box. Allocate the amount of memory you want to assign to your virtual machine. Arch Linux recommends a minimum of 512 megabytes, but for better performance, according to what memory you have you can assign 2 gigabytes or more. You can even increase the number of processors. I won't do that for now. You can experiment with this after the installation is done. In the next step, select Create a Virtual Hard Disk. Choose the size for your virtual hard disk. The recommended size is 20 gigabytes, but you can adjust it based on your needs. Once you've set the size, click Finish to create the virtual hard disk. You can click on Settings and change a few settings like the Share Clipboard settings, so you can easily copy files from the host to the virtual machine. If you want you can also increase the video memory and enable 3D acceleration. With our virtual machine configured, it's time to install Arch Linux. Start the virtual machine by clicking on the Start button in VirtualBox. The Arch Linux boot menu will appear. Select the first option. The system will boot into the Arch Linux installer. Wait for the process to complete, and you'll be presented with the command line interface. Arch Linux used to be difficult to install. Now with the Arch Install Guided Installer it is easy to install the OS. It automates the Arch Linux installation process. From this menu you can configure a number of settings, like the mirror region, language and so on. Select the mirror region that is close to you. You can also create a root password. If you want you can just skip this step. This will disable the root, but you can create a new user with privileges, I will show you later. This is where you can create a new user account and give the account some pseudo privileges.
Next select go to the drive menu and set the hard drive in which you are going to install Arch Linux. You can use the tab key or the space bar to select. Select the disk layout and then select the wipe all selected drive option. You can then choose the file system you want. Just select the default. Now go to Profile and select the desk environment of your choice from the list provided. Select the graphics driver. Since we are on a virtual box machine, select the VMware Stroke Virtual Box driver. Finally select the other options like audio and so on. In Network Configuration select Use Network Manager. You can also change the time zone according to your location. You can also add optional repositories. You can now begin the installation process by selecting Install and pressing the Enter key. When the installation is complete, you will see this window. It will ask you to change root into a newly created installation for post-installation configuration, but just select No to complete the installation. The installation is complete. You can now shut down the virtual machine by typing the Shut Down Now command. Remove the ISO disk from the virtual machine to prevent it booting from the ISO image again when you start it. Log in with the details of the account you created earlier on. Open a terminal and update the system by running these commands before you install the VirtualBox Guest Edition. Click on Devices in the menu and then click on Insert Guest Editions. Copy the files to Documents. The Open the Documents folder in the terminal, then run the following commands to install the guest editions.
The guest editions are now installed. Restart the virtual machine. Congratulations! You've successfully installed Arch Linux in VirtualBox. Now you can explore and customize this powerful Linux distribution to suit your needs. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Linux tutorials and tech-related content. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.